Now let's get to white baking, which is probably the most important section of X-Ray. Uh, unlike other render, real-time render engines that you may have used, which uses dynamic lights, uh, X-Ray uses light baking. And uh, basically it's uh, pre-calculating all the lights and shadows and GI uh, into a file called light map and read it in the scene. And uh, the downside of this method is that if you move an object, uh, the shadows and lights doesn't get updated. But uh, it also has many advantages. Uh, for example, one of them is the high quality of the light shadows and GI. Uh, it also supports more lighting methods, for example, uh, uh, translucent lighting and things like that and it also works better, better on small objects or small scenes so for example in a scene like this uh, the white of the scene is almost 20 centimeter and I try to set everything to the maximum setting I can in Blender and as you can see the dynamic lighting doesn't work really that well and when I'm looking looking at it from outside I get some lights but looking from the inside it just isn't very good and testing this same scene in Unreal we have it like this this is the default light settings yeah, I can lower the shadow bias still not good if I enable lumen it will look a lot better but still compared to x-ray uh, they don't really look correct and you can see that uh, even this small uh, scene all the lights gi and the light that, go that goes through the window look really well in light baking in x-ray And again, I had to mention that this was a test on a small scene. For example, in Blender, if I scale the scene up, it will look better and the light will go through the window. But uh, still, the result is not the same as uh, X-Ray. Uh, actually, in Blender, if you want it to look similar, you have to use Cycle. which of course takes a lot of time to render one frame so I've been using light baking for a long time and I try to make x-ray in a way uh, which save you a lot of time and avoid unnecessary baking as much as possible okay so let's see what each button do. The first one will build selected objects, so if you select the mesh and press this button it will bake uh, only that one mesh. The second one will create a speckle of lights and they work this way that you create a light and press this button and it is now a speckle of lights. You can use them to only create the specular effect on your mesh. Uh, they are also great when you are using normal map and you want the, to view, show the detail of the normal map better. Uh, and this last one will build all the mesh and all the lights in the scene. I highly recommend that you enable the prompt dialog for uh, if you are using a very high setting or if you work on a large scene. Okay, so let's uh, remove all the lights and do the lighting again to see how it works. So first we create a light. And then we just press the build all lights button. And it will break uh, the lights for all the objects in the scene. Uh, 
And now, as you can see, the shadows look really bad. And to fix that, we should increase the light sample. And in since we are using Turtle, we should increase the shadow ray from the shadow section. Usually, 64 is more than enough for Turtle. But if you are using other engines, you may need to increase the sample from somewhere else. For example, in Arnold, you can change the sample from here. And now let's build all lights again. And you can see that it looks so much better now. Now let's create another light, a directional light. And we can also disable the light map display to view the this light better. Maybe something like that. And again, we should hit the build all light button to build all the lights and all the objects in the scene. And just like that. Now if we try to change the intensity, for example, I change this to 8. Uh, you can see that it doesn't work, it doesn't get updated in the scene and if you want to see the change, you have to build the scene again. Uh, and usually that's how the light baking works in most of softwares. But in X-Ray, we have this other option called Light Mixer. So if we if I enable light mixer and hit uh, build all again, it will take a little bit longer. But when the baking is finished, uh, you can actually change light attributes and see them in real time. Okay, so now if I change the intensity, you can see that we can change them. And if you have used Unreal Engine, you may remember stationary lights. Uh, unlike stationary lights in Unreal, which uh, were only limited to five lights, five overlapping lights, here we have no limitation. And another difference is that in Unreal, uh, when you are changing the intensity or the light color, it wouldn't affect the GI, as you can see here. But in X-Ray, when we change the intensity, it will also affect the GI. And even when we change the color, you can see that the GI also gets updated try it on the, with the other light as well. Uh, this alone can save you a lot of time. But there is also uh, other possibilities that will be <coughs> available when using light mixer. Uh, one of them is that you can bake each light separately. So for example, if I, let's say, rotate the directional light, and make it like that. Now instead of uh, baking the whole scene again for all the lights, I can just select this directional light and bake only that one light. And it will be build that one light for all the meshes in the scene. Just like that. Now, uh, another thing is that you can also uh, bake a light only for one or uh, multiple specific objects. Let's say we have something like this.
I can select this spotlight and only this plane at heat build selected uh, and it will only bake this spotlight and for only this one mesh like that now one of the very unique features of x-ray is that uh, you can use different cores and you can actually build different objects or different, different lights with a different core so for example I can use Arnold and I can bake this uh, directional light using Arnold and this other lights will stay uh, baked with the turtle that I used previously like that and uh, since I used Arnold I forgot to increase the exposure so that's why it looks a little bit darker than the turtle result should either increase the intensity or the exposure or another example would be that for example instead of this spotlight I can use V-Ray IES light just like that And build a light, this light using query. Uh, the same thing also applies to the subsurface and the reflection. So for example, you can bake different objects with a different SSS material and see the mixed result of uh, all these render engines in Vport. Another useful feature is the ability to lock lights. So for example, I can uh, lock the lights that I already have. You can find the light build attribute in the channel box. So I can select these lights, enable uh, lock build, and now if I create a new light, it will only bake this new light and ignore any lock lights in the scene. And this is uh, a very useful feature and it helps you save a lot of time so for example if you are working on multiple rooms and you are done building all the lights and setting up all the lights in one of the rooms uh, you can hide the meshes in that room and it will ignore building those meshes and you can also lock the lights in that uh, room which will make x-ray ignore the, those lights uh, in the baking process and you can just move on to the next room that you're working and, and now when you hit bake it will bake only that new room so let's give it a try and here I have the same scene let's give this a sphere and this one light I'm going to move this light over here so you see that uh, it won't get baked, baked in this new scene and now when I hit build all As you can see, 
our old room has kept its light the way it was and the new room only has the spotlight. Another very useful feature in X-Ray is the ability to duplicate objects and keep their light maps connected. So if you have used light building in Unreal, for example, you know that uh, when you duplicate objects, they will lose their connection with the light map and you need to uh, build lights again for every object. But here, if you go to Hotkey Editor, you can find duplicate with light map. And now uh, we can actually select objects, duplicate, and they will keep their light maps connected. And this is very useful uh, in many scenes, for example, in a, something like this. I can just duplicate and make more of the same object without the need to uh, big lights again for these copies and it will also keep their connection uh, with the lights so if I change light attributes you can see that it will affect the duplicated objects as well and at any time you can just select any of these objects and bake lights for that object and it will get disconnected from the rest of the copies. Another example would be a scene like this. Uh, if I want to uh, just like, extend this room, I can uh, duplicate it and just move it forward. that. 